is this the most efficient and user-friendly video editor? Guys, I have a brand new video editor to introduce to you guys. So if you guys are all about a video editor that's easy to use, not complicated at all, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and as always, let's go ahead and get started and get into this video editor right after the intro. All right, guys, so if you click on the first link down in the description, you will land on their website. And obviously right here, you want to hit the free download button because guess what? This software is completely for free. You don't have to pay anything per month or per year or anything like that. So we're gonna hit the green download button and we're gonna install this program. Okay, guys, so as you can see right now, this is the software and this is what it looks like when you went to the link down in the description and you installed it. So it is actually pretty straightforward when it comes to the layout such as our preview screen right here on the right where we can watch what we have created so far. We have our timeline at the very bottom and on the left we can drop our media files to import them into our media library. So just like Vegas Pro and basically any other software we have to get started by importing our footage. So let's go ahead and drag in a clip right now for example when we finished filming our new YouTube video. You gotta drop them first on the window on the left where you can have your media library. So once you've done that it is importing and this is just me getting ready you know to record because this is the raw clip nothing has been edited so far so then what we're going to do is we're going to actually drag this one into our timeline so now that we have our video right here in the timeline we can click on this general button and right here, you can first, before you're gonna start editing, you can apply your appropriate effects, such as brightness and contrast, a little bit more exposure, anything like that, that you would also do in other softwares before you get started on editing. But I think this clip doesn't really need anything because everything on my camera was already optimized. So we can get straight to the editing part. So we click on done right here. So now that we have our clip in here, what we want to do is figure out how we're gonna actually use this program by using shortcuts, for example, pressing space on your keyboard to actually make footage start playing. But you can also just click on this bar to actually scroll through the footage. So let's start with cutting. Now, in other programs, you would actually have to press, for example, S on your keyboard to split it or cut it, but that's not the case right here. So in order to cut things up, we want to click on trim right here. And then it's going to open up this window with this timeline at the bottom where you can actually like move this marker where you want it to be. Okay, so now that I have placed the markers where I want the video to be, don't look at my face for a second. What we need to do is we need to press on trim and then we can hit on done. So then it's gonna shrink that video file to only 53 seconds because it's gonna play the part that we just cut out. Okay, so now that we have cut out our intro, it is actually going to be really easy to switch to our screen recording. So right here I have this still frame of Vegas Pro, which is a little bit blurred as well. So you wanna just drag that into the media library and then drag that onto your timeline. Now you see this plus icon, and that means that you can add in multiple transitions. So just like for example in Vegas, you can also create crossfade zooms or just any other transitions that you like, because we have slide from right, slide from top, slide from left, Left slide from bottom. We have all kinds of transitions that we can use. So let's go ahead and pick the cross zoom. So let's play back and let's see what it looks like. That looks really, really cool. And that's how you can also create this amazing transitions into other photos, other videos. You guys know how that works. So you can also add in text onto your video. So if you click on this text icon in the middle on the left, you can also pick, for example, no style, classic, cowboy, all different kinds of fonts. So let's just go ahead and type in ice cream video editor. You will also see that live on your preview. Then you can also click, for example, on that one. So you will see all kinds of different, you know, looks and how you can create like really, really cool text effects as well. Now you can also pick the position, for example, centered at the top, centered in the middle, center at the bottom, to the right, to the left, in the middle left, middle right, top left and top right. You can also change up the size if you bring up this marker. So if you put classic, you will have this black stripe underneath it that has a little bit lower of an opacity. So that's a really, really cool detail as well. And of course, just like the intro, you can apply many filters onto your clip by just clicking once on the effect. You can see all kinds of different ones that you can apply onto your video. Okay, so I also dragged in a song. So let's have that one in the timeline below as well. Okay, so let's play it back and let's see what it looks like. What's poppin' guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new 
Vegas. Now, as you guys can hear, it is a little bit too loud. So if you double click on your song in the timeline, you can also lower the volume. You can also create a fade in, which is really, really cool. So you don't have it like all of a sudden starting, but just slowly fading in. Hey guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. And in this video, I'm teaming up with Casual Savage, you know, the YouTuber, you guys probably I know it. I don't think you have to introduce him in this video. So that's a really, really cool effect that you can also adjust like the, the details of the audio, like the volume, the fade, everything like that in this menu. So it's actually a pretty, a pretty good software, guys. At the top right here, you can also choose your landscape mode. If it's going to be 16 by 9, 4 by 3, 9 by 16, 3 by 4, 1 by 1, like for example, like an Instagram video, if you want to make it a square one. And when you're done editing your video, you have cut up your video, you made the transitions, you added the background music, everything is ready you can export your video at the very top so of course we can give this a name for example YouTube video then you can also choose a location I'm fine with the desktop you can choose your format which is going to be mp4 in this case the resolution is going to be full HD but you can even pick quad HD and even 4k and then obviously the quality is going to be ultra and then I'm going to hit export now how long this video needs to export actually depends on multiple factors such as how long is the video how many effects have you applied how heavy is the footage for example like 4k footage from your camera so that all depends on these factors you can also choose to shut down your computer when this video has finished exporting right here it only takes a minute and 20 seconds roughly so then the video is good to go and we can post it on YouTube so guys I'm gonna cancel the render for now because this is just a test video but if you guys would like to pick up the software make sure to check out the link down in the description It's completely for free if you're looking for the best free editor of 2020 this is the one that I would go for and that is basically how to use ice cream video editor so guys that's it for this video now you guys know how to use ice cream video editor it is actually pretty straightforward and if this video went by too fast make sure to just pause it rewind it and watch the video at your own tempo so thanks a lot to ice cream apps for sponsoring this video you can find a link down below to their video editor and i'll see you guys obviously in my next video